So um, one of the arrangements that we're going to do today is a, is a low um, arrangement. So for that I have taken this kind of a shallow bowl and it's, it's kind of nice to have a bowl that has a wider rim and a thinner base so that you know the, the arrangement can actually spill out and this is meant to be um, a centerpiece for, for a table. So basically I'm going to do two actually which I want to share with you. So one is going to be this, um, this lower arrangement and the other one is going to be a really tall one where I have harvested my cosmos but I have loads. It was such a magnificent harvest and such a beautiful sight when I came back after 10 days and I looked at the garden but of course everything had toppled over because I didn't stake them. So that's something to learn. But anyway, for, for this arrangement, so what I have got here, just wanted to share the ingredients with you and then we can get into the arrangement. So for the bulk, um, you probably already know that I love to use mint. So I've just collected some mint. And now this is all uh, very woody stem, so I don't need to um, put it in or sear them in boiling water because this is going to hold. This is just a woody stem. Um, I have a lot of vines. Um, wait, I just want to lower it. So I had to take the camera off the stand to show you actually what's happened, what are the arrangement flowers that I've chosen. So I have these couple of roses from from the garden. I have some very beautiful dahlias. There you go. Um, also some some peach and yellow colored ones. So that's the the color combination that I'm keeping to. This is a, a, a very very beautiful vine. It's actually the the passion flower vine. So I have left. A lot of the buds still in green and I'll see how uh, how to weave them in in between and then I have taken some berries of the of the cotton Easter uh, plant because I think that it's it's really nice so when I'm making arrangements like that I I tend to also look at the shape at the natural shape of the of the stem uh, so if anything that's that's trailing like the vines are extremely beautiful anything that's that's arching it's also beautiful because it's going to go over the over the lip of the of the arrangement of the vase and anything that's standing up and flopping so everything is going to be used in this arrangement so let's dig in the other um, stem that i got that i forgot to show you was this beautiful long arching so you see it's got this natural shape um, that it arches and this is something that I really like in arrangements so I can use I think the color scheme would go really very well because it's kind of a dark burgundy and it's really just the actually the seed heads because the flowers are, have already bloomed but I think it would look absolutely stunning and beautiful in this really nice berry um, autumn kind of an arrangement so I might use that as well okay <clears throat> So now I think I have kind of the base ready, right? So all that I've done is just poked in the, the mint in around the outer edge. So I work always from outside to inside. That's a good way to work with flower arrangements, especially if you're, if you're just putting it in. The bouquet is of course different when you hold it in the hand. But this, this kind of arrangement, it's always nice to work from outside to the inside. And I can always adjust and edit um, as long as, as I go on. And for now, it's just mainly actually to have the framework that's going to carry the, the flowers in. So the next, I'm going to use the cotton Easter for the, for the shape so I can see what kind of a shape I would like to have. So you see, this is also a beautiful branch and it's got this absolutely lovely, gorgeous berries that are such such a treat to even look at don't want to the problem with the cotton is is that the berries are towards the the this end of the stem whereas the the branch uh, the arch is actually on this side so i have to see how to because i do want to have the berries so i'm just going to pop that in there and then later on this is of course too long so I'm, i am going to 
cut it and I'm going to actually just do that right now make sure that it still looks natural when you cut and doesn't look like you've just chopped it off just hacked it off so I just made sure that there was a leaf coming out and right above that node that's where I cut <clears throat> so I can still have these beautiful berries I need to remove these so we can actually see okay so I have these beautiful berries coming out here this is a sometimes I also tend to bend it a little bit if it makes sense for the design and I think I am going to cut off one of them and then I kind of slice it through as well so that the surface area is is bigger for the water absorption so I'm trying to achieve this kind of a shape like this so this is a little higher than than that and, and everything should trail and be really beautiful really tiny small ones but I think they're quite nice if you just put them at the edge so it echoes what's happening inside right the, the colors and the and the texture the scheme so and they're so pretty they're just so beautiful I mean look at them I wouldn't like them yep. So I'm just going to thread these ones in, in and around. <clears throat> of now even before I have put any flower in so this only this is uh, um, this is actually all just my my foliage the what I consider my foliage so I've got the mint I've got the cottonista and I have this other beautiful uh, one yeah, I have to find out the name of this this is not a platinia I'm trying to think of the name but it escapes me but the moment I find out I'll, I'll put it in the in the box below and this has this absolutely beautiful flower so I think the, the framework is is finished so you see I have one other it's I've already established the direction in which this arrangement is going to flow and now I can start adding the flowers the vines are going to come last because they are going to be like the 
cherry on the cake and you really want to put that in last. I begin by, by choosing a, a focal area, so this is going to be this one, really pretty. Sometimes it's nice to put the flowers actually quite a bit into the arrangement so it looks like it's actually sitting in it. Now this direction, this one, I don't like the direction because it's growing in one side so I need to adjust this a bit and then I'm going to now. So these, these beautiful dahlias, I think I'm going to tuck them in a little bit deeper. And I'm trying to like keep different heights because that gives interest to an arrangement. This one looks... I can always, you know, once I have it ready, check how it looks and adjust. And sometimes in a rose, especially in autumn, because you know the, when the buds fade and then you have the hips coming on if I don't, uh, of course, prune them. And sometimes I like to leave them on because it's kind of, I know that many <laughs> people wouldn't do that. But for me, even this is very beautiful just to have the, the part where all the petals have fallen off because it kind of reminds you, right, that everything is, is a come and go and and perfection is actually everywhere even in these ones so I like to leave them on once in a while not not all the time but I think now with autumn coming on and with things dying back and um, and everything kind of like going inwards again it's a nice reminder that that even such a beautiful flower does not last and but even in that there is beauty and so I think this time it's just the mood that I I mean, right now I'm going to leave it on. This one I need to adjust a little bit more. I'm going to push it that side. And this one too, this is actually really beautiful because there's one that's over so I have a hip, there is one that's in bloom, and then there is a bud. So you have all three stages of the flower on this. That's lovely. And I'm going to rotate it again, just to make sure that I have a view. Nice to always work with a lazy Susan that you can just turn around. I 
Actually, I should have got my crazy Susan out, but I don't know why I didn't do that. Anyway, so that's that's kind of how it's looking like.